G'day everyone and welcome to this week's vlog coming to you still from the Scottsdale Road area out the back of Denmark and I just been heading down the road this morning to get some photography get some photos after yesterday's rain and look what I found light streaming through the forest so I've pulled over here <laughs> very quickly and got some handheld shots and then managed to get the tripod and get some shots on it as well so uh, you'll see those shots a little bit later anyway let's uh, let's head down the road and see what else we can find looks like it's gonna be a good morning so composition number two I've been driving down this road and every time I come along this road here I see these trees and uh, they're always in a nice position but I could never figure out where to get them from so I'm going to get a shot here and uh, this is going to be a bit of a focus stack I think because I can't get uh, all of it in focus the way I want it. So what I'm going to do is focus this a third of the way into the scene, just to make sure I can get that nicely. Just lighten that a little bit so I can see what I'm doing, that would help. Yeah, beautiful. And see that's focused just here. And then if I if I show you up here where the trees are, they're slightly out of focus. So I need to uh, do two shots and stack them. Yes, that's still in focus. Very good. I'm just going to darken it slightly. So that they stand out. I'm told that the human eye always goes to the lightest part of the, of the picture, of the scene. So that's where I'm going to uh, make the focus of this, this photo. Pun intended. Make sure we get those in focus. Yep, lovely. Same settings, same everything. We'll put those two together and uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we can't get a nice little shot. Something along those lines, but with less light. All right, on to the next spot, wherever that might be. All I'm doing basically is driving down the road and stopping and pulling over and taking shots. So this is very much opportunistic photos. No vision, just light. Okay, so I've moved down the road a little bit further and actually captured a couple of other shots on the way. I didn't uh, vlog them, but I'll show them to you at the end. And I've got my uh, got the flannel on this morning because I thought it was going to be cold. And I've got to tell you, it's not. Anyway, it has been the last couple of days. It's been a bit wet and windy and horrible. Um, but it's only going to get better, I think. And sadly, we are due to leave here, uh, this area tomorrow. So the best photos have probably come on the last day. How bloody typical is that? Anyway, I've returned back to the Harewood Forest Walk. And... Those trees there are, um, these ones up in here, are what I'm going to attempt to capture. So I'll show you the composition. The sun is just coming through on them very nicely just up in here. And I don't know whether this is going to capture what I want it to capture, but so far it's looking good. And uh, if I remove all the paraphernalia on the screen so you can see, it's just, uh, just a picture of trees. And that's the whole idea, is it's all about the trees. These beautiful carry trees. So, we'll take this shot. Quarter of a second, F11 for sharpness, ISO 100. Two second timer. 
and you can see up in the top they have got the blinkies on a little bit so it's a little bit overexposed in the top but I'm not too worried about that beautiful 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 so my next composition is from just over here on the other side of the road looking up that way this uh, whole area this is the Scottsdale tourist drive runs out of Denmark goes for 34 kilometers and uh, it's just a delightful place to drive through most people drive through the middle of the day when the sun is quite harsh and it still provides nice uh, nice vistas and nice uh, little scenes through the trees as you go around the bends and various uh, parts of the road so if you ever decide to go to Denmark in Western Australia then you need to come down here and have a look at uh, the Scottsdale Tourist Drive and while you're uh, driving that's back towards Denmark while you're driving along the road you need to stop at the Duckett's Wines, Duckett's Mill Wines and Farmhouse Cheese. Our good friends Laurie and Annette, um, Laurie and Annette, I'll get that out properly, uh, have that place and uh, the cheese is to die for and the wine is just extraordinary. So as uh, Molly Meldrum, Meldrum used to say, do yourself a favour and uh, go to the Duckett's Mill Wines and farmhouse cheese. You will not regret it. All right, so cockatoos and kookaburras and the odd magpie. And uh, I've just taken a pano um, across here. And I'll show you those on the back of the camera. So there's shot number one, shot number two, shot number three. You can see I've got the blinkies on at the top, which just lets me know that the uh, it's overexposed in that area. I'm not too worried about that because I'll probably crop that out anyway. Um, it's just a very pretty, pleasant scene. And what's the other other way doing? Yeah, nice light, but not quite what I'm looking for. Anyway, um, you can see I'm just parked over there at the walk, and I'm going to head back this way, and. Uh, with the light behind me, the sun coming up behind me, it's, um, I don't know what the time is, about 7, 7.30, something like that, I suppose. And uh, it's starting to get a little harsh. All right, we'll head back and see what else we can find. Well, I'm always back to uh, where we're staying and I didn't, uh, I didn't get anything extra so uh, all I can say is that was an extremely nice little uh, little adventure and uh, I'm glad you could uh, come with me he says as he just spies another possible composition um, <laughs> anyway I'm gonna grab uh, gonna grab a shot here and uh, I'll have a look at least anyway and if it's any good I'll show you if I if it's not I won't and um, and uh, yeah I'll probably end the uh, end the vlog here so all I can say uh, is it's been a fun morning I'm glad you've had a, had a little trip with me um, it, probably not the best vlog in the world but I hope the photos make up for that and of course uh, if you do like what, uh, what I've put together. Don't forget to give us that thumbs up. Highly appreciate those. And uh, of course, subscribe to the channel. And if you have already subscribed and haven't hit that notification bell, or if you do subscribe, then make sure you hit that notification bell and you will know when we do the next video. Um, I'm not quite sure when the next one after this will be, because uh, I could be somewhere totally different. Anyway, Thanks very much for watching. As always, appreciate your support and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. So bye for now.
not going to be the greatest photo, but I'm going to get out and take it anyway.